this, you've been out for quite a while, so this is your return to get that Tipo victory. How does that feel? Yeah, it was really amazing to be back. You know, I really enjoyed my time. I think this was the first time I really enjoyed my time in the cage. And the whole week, is, you know, everything been amazing. You know? I've been having such a good time. I'm really happy with life and the way training is going and fighting. You know, it just feels awesome to be back. I have, you know, this was not about winning or losing, this was about enjoying my time here and perform at the level that is close to my capacity. It was a little confusing your post-fight speech. You said you were injured a lot and then mm -hmm. you came in the cage relaxed. How, yeah. does, how did those fit together? I don't know, you know, I, I went to Albert. First I was sick, I went to Albuquerque for five weeks. And the first week I got sick again, so I was sick like 10 days, then I sprained my foot. So I was out for like three weeks. I think a couple of years ago I wouldn't have done this fight. Because I, I haven't been sparring in like eight weeks or something. I, I did two sparring sessions in the whole camp. I've um, I just been having a good time, you know, we spent time at the pool, having a great time. So I was super relaxed, you know, I was just... The whole week has been amazing. Was there any time you were considering pulling out of this fight since you weren't able to train the way that you wanted? Was there ever thought, maybe I'm not going to, I'll just wait until later on in the year, or did you just want to be on this card? No, no, you know, I was, uh, as I said, you know, a couple of years ago, uh, maybe I would postpone it or pulled out, but the, I've been away for so long, so I was like, oh, fuck it, you know, I'm, I'm just tired of being injured, so I was like, yeah. I don't care, you know, and the thing was, in this fight, I didn't care about winning or losing. I was just, as I said before, I think my previous three wins been at like 50-60% of my capacity. And this was the first fight that was even close to what I'm going to be capable of. And I also think this is just the beginning of something really good, something really great. This was, you know, it's so much more potential there, you know, this was... Nothing. Um, do you attribute that to going down to Albuquerque? Do you feel like you've expanded to going out to Albuquerque? Do you feel like you've expanded your game because of that? Is this where the confidence is coming from? Dialect, man. Sorry. <laughs> so you, no, no, but I, I got it. Okay. <laughs> um, no, but actually, I think a lot of people just fell into place this camp. Uh, I had a son six months ago, and it puts uh, life in perspective, you know. It puts this into perspective. It's, this is just fighting. It's my hobby, you know. I have a life outside this and something to be really proud of and, you know, that's my life. This is my, like, hobby. And this is why I started fighting, you know, because I love it. So, if I'm not enjoying my time, the whole week here, you know, everything in the cage, I don't see the purpose of doing it, you know. I, I don't make any money anyway, so <laughs> it's just for yeah, it's, you know, it's the important stuff to enjoy my time and it's happened a lot of other stuff too, you know. I, I spent a lot of time with like Alistair Ory, my, and he's such an amazing guy. He's also really relaxed and enjoying his time and yeah, I looked at him and like, oh, that's the way to go, you know. And if you have a camp, I think, I saw him, you know, he rested two days, he, ah, I stay in the pool, I just want to feel good, he was a little bit tired. I did the same, you know. I, I've been fighting for so long, so it's in me, you know, it doesn't, I don't have to push it in camps, I don't have to push it hurt myself, I don't have to push it to be in the best shape of my life, you never know where you're going to perform anyway, so I was just enjoying my time. Well, did I see some pictures of you and BJ Penn hanging out? What, did you learn anything from him or was he helping you chill out too? Yeah, he, he was helping me chill out. <laughs> he's he's, a, he's a such a nice dude, man. He's fucking hilarious. You know? I, <laughs> I remember one thing he said when we were sitting in the pool. I don't know if I'm going to tell this, but <laughs> he was like, yeah, all these new guys, man, they're jumping off the cave, do the spinning shit. You know, when I started, we just fight, man. We just put a fist to fight, and now they're jumping, spinning. It's fucking weird, man. <laughs> it was really, it was, yeah, it's such a good, good dude. So, being out in Albuquerque, is that going to be a permanent thing for you? And how are you going to, still going to be with All Stars as well? I'm not with All Stars. Oh, okay. So, uh, no, I'm not with All Stars. I quit there like a year ago or something. Yeah, almost. So I have uh, I train at Pancreas in Sweden. Yeah, 
And then I do a lot of my training on my own. I have different coaches now, so I, for the first time in my life, I think I have a really good team surrounding me. And I have a new head coach in Joachim Engberg, a Swedish guy who also coached Alistair. And yeah, I think Albuquerque is going to be a place to go to because it's, it was a really nice atmosphere. I really like it there. And yeah, I felt good there. There seems, like to, be a, seems to be a number of uh, top uh, Scandinavian fighters leaving All Stars. Is there a reason uh, behind uh, guys departing that gym? Uh, yeah, probably there's a reason for everybody. Uh, I can't just talk for myself. And I think, you know, I, I wasn't having so much fun that I want to. And I want to switch things up more, make it more personal and more about me. I think that's the way MMA is going right now, you know. And I don't think you don't need a big team around you, you know, you need good coaches that are focusing on you. You know, so many if you train in a big camp and so many and you always go in classes, you know, you're not gonna do the things you need to do, you know. Maybe you yeah. So I think it's more about making it personal, you know, taking it to another level. I don't think like Mayweather go to classes, you know, he has his own coaches. So I think that's where MMA is going to. Do you have any comments on the arena here? Did you like it? Yeah, yeah, it was amazing, you know, as I said, you know, it was my first time I really enjoyed my, <laughs> my fight. And, you know, when I walk in, I really took it in and made the most of it. And it's been a beautiful city, you know, I really, I was really surprised by Rotterdam how beautiful it was. So we've been just having a good time every day, walking out to a park, chilling out, yeah, enjoying the sun. You're a perfect commercial <laughs> for yeah, the city. Exactly. Thanks, Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.